Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. This first episode in this playlist is a introductory tutorial to Kira 4.8. So as such, it's going to be a little bit longer than the standard five minute slot I've allotted for the sectional topics in this playlist. But it's basically going to give you a rundown of Kira what version you're using, how to check it, how to update it, how to load a file, how to slice, and how to get it printed. For this, we're going to jump back to our recommended settings. We're only going to be dealing with these right here in this video and, in fact, in the next one as well. So a few of the things that you need to know about Kira right off the bat are how to bring in models. That's going to be one of the first questions you're asking, and it's actually quite easy and intuitive. You can go up here to File, Open File, and you can navigate to whatever file you would like to open. I'm using STL files as Kira is really, really good at working with them. So we'll open this. You can see it's pretty fast to load. It doesn't really have any issues or anything. And what you're gonna wanna do is adjust the settings for your printer and slice them. We'll go over all of that in this playlist, but I wanted to also point out that it is possible to say, uh, let's go here let's go to my desktop maybe and I know I got some STLs on there so we'll just grab one and drag that in here you can drag and drop and that should be a pretty good example now, this one takes a little bit longer to load because it is a sculpture it has a lot of tiny fine faces unlike this object here which is basically just a bunch of flat pieces so let's see here There is our Joker model. Let's get rid of this guy. This is a sculpture that I made in a sculpting program. We'll go over how to make your own models as well in another video. But for now, let's go ahead and adjust the size. So I want to scale this up. It's set to a uniform scaling, which means if I change one dimension, it's going to change them all. The reason for that is to keep the scale of the object. Instead of expanding one direction and not the rest and smashing it, that's pretty good, but let's say I want to rotate my object. So I'm going to take and click the rotate tool here with the object selected, and I'm going to use this tool. This is the align face to build plate tool. So if I click on the bottom of my model here, seem to be lagging a little bit. I am running some recording software, so your Kira should work a little bit quicker than this and there you can see I have the model up right now. You'll notice a few areas in here where there are red spots. Those are what are known as overhangs. Now obviously the printer can't raise itself up to the neckline here and then come back down and print the bottom of the jaw. So you're gonna need to print something up from the base here to support that when it starts printing the chin. And to do that, you're going to use support. I already have it ticked here, it's turned on. Like I said, we'll go over all these settings in just a minute. But for right now, I just want to show you how to get in a model and manipulate it, get it oriented the way that you want. A few things to consider are, is there a way that I can turn this model that reduces those red spots? Because the less red I have on the model, the less support I'm going to need, the less plastic I'm going to end up having to A, remove, and B, throw away later. So that is always something to keep in mind. Let's see if we select the object here. And I'm still in rotation mode. There are a couple of the other options over here. We'll get into these a little bit later. One of the good ones you do need to know you don't use very often but is very handy is the mirror option. Now, if you're printing a part and you need an exact replica of that part, except for the other side of a machine, all you have to do is hit the mirror button and it will flip it on whatever axis you choose. In this case, I chose, I believe, Y. So it should flip it. The text should come out backwards. And you should see his hair turn around here in a second. 
if I don't get lag dropped. Like I said, I'm running a lot of other software that you're probably not going to be running while using your slicer, so you shouldn't really have these issues. Um, but I'm also low on memory too. And as you can see, Joker is now backwards, the model is flipped, and if I wanted to print two opposite pieces, that's how I would do it. You can also flip it vertically, and you can flip it back and forth this way, but in most cases, unless you need a mirrored part, it's easier just to rotate the model. So that is the basics of manipulating the model. Now that we've done that, there are some options in the right click where you can center the model and you can delete the model or you can multiply the model. Now if I hit multiply and it says number of copies, uh, if I hit one it will make one copy giving me a total of two. If I put two in there it will make two copies giving me a total of three. So that's not including the one that you're selecting, just keep that in mind. Once you have all that done and your settings are in place here, which remember we will go over these settings in depth in the following tutorial, but basically the recommended settings are a good place to start and that is where we are now so I'm gonna go ahead and click slice and it's going to break my object down into what are called layers and each of those layers will have a path and when it's done slicing we'll take a look at this and you'll be able to see not only the path for each layer but we can scroll through the layers and you'll also be able to see a simulation of what the support is gonna look like when it's added on there. Now remember all of these red areas are going to receive support so there's going to be stuff built up to them and there are ways to change what that support looks like. At the moment though we just clicked simple support in our recommended settings so it's going to give us the generic version with the generic settings. And it looks like the slicing has finally completed. Let's go ahead and check out our preview. I'll show you those layers we were talking about. So if I click preview mode up here, it's going to bring me over to the preview pane. Now basically, all you're seeing is the lines that are the travel path for the print head. So all of this stuff, this is the support, and this is a style known as tree support. It actually, this is the standard support for Kira now. It didn't give me the old generic default support. So that's a new feature in Kira 4.8. They just recently moved this style of support from experimental to a standard feature and it works really, really well and is easy to remove. So you can see it's built up around most of the model. It'd be hard to see the face while we're printing, but we should get a nice print underneath all of that. If you'd like to see exactly what it's doing under there, we can scroll through the layers here and we'll take a look at one of the other settings we'll be talking about in the next videos and that is infill. So if I zoom in here, you see these triangles here. That is the infill, and you can change the pattern of that infill when you get into the custom settings. For right now, it's just set to this pattern, and as the model builds up and down, it is filling, um, in this case, it's filling 20% of the model instead of filling it 100% solid. Now, if it was solid, it would be not leaving these air gaps, it would just be printing a solid layer. You can see, if I scroll backwards through this layer, the order in which it draws it. So this is the path. This is what it's telling your print head to do in order to make this object. So it'll follow this path entirely for the completion of this layer and then once it reaches the end the printer will raise up one layer and it will do the same thing in the next layer. And in this way it continues to build up on the previous layer making the pattern and the object that you have selected. So from this case, I can tell that I think this code is gonna work pretty well in my printer. I'm gonna go ahead and print it so I can hit save to file. This is going to save to a file on my computer and that's fine, but I wanna actually save to a micro SD card. So I'm gonna insert one and when I do, this should change to save to disk. And at that point, when you click it, it should automatically save to that micro SD you can put it in your printer and go ahead and fire up test print. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because we have a lot more coming in this playlist. The next video is going to be an introduction to these settings right here. And then we will go into the custom settings and go through each of these one by one in their own videos. So, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video if it was helpful. 
and stick around because there's lots more coming on Kira settings in five minutes or less, 2021 edition. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So... Definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.